welcome back to God Aid. Oh my God, Aidians, I hope that you've had a good week and you are safe and you are well. Before we start, we need to light our candles. So our first candle is lit for to remind us about the Christ, of, the light of Christ. Keep in mind anybody who has suffered or is suffering from COVID-19. Right, with that, let us start. Please go and get your Bibles and pause the video here. I want you to read from Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 to 28. Once you've done that, come back so we can have a discussion. So what did you think of that lesson? I mean, this is what we call a parable. So a story that Jesus teaches in order to put a message across. This lesson is a really interesting one to look at because... If we look at it in the context it was written in, is that the kingdom of heaven is actually the riches that we receive. So I like to think of it as talents. We all have them. We all have talents. Some of us run well, some of us swim well, some of us dance or sing or are able to put videos together. Some of us can paint. And in the traditional sense, that's what we see talents to be. But in real life, there is more than just this outward ability that we have there are smaller things in our lives that give us these give, that show us that we have more than that for talents for example i make a really good cup of coffee and i know when i make a good cup of coffee and i share it with somebody else it brings them a bit of joy during the day having said that i'm also really good at giving hugs although during this time it's probably not a good idea or i listen well I have this ability to know when somebody is upset and to get them to talk to me about it. These might not be talents that will make me lots of money or will make me popular with people. Your talents could be that you really just enjoy helping around the house or you cook well. And yes, maybe one day you can make a career out of that. But these are all talents that we have. And it could be something as small as just being able to write a note to somebody and make them feel good about themselves. My sister is a warrior for the for, for animal rights, and she 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 fights every day for them. But she also has this ability to make me feel good about myself. And so the outward talent that we see from my sister is that she's strong and she's brave and she shouts really loudly. But then on the other side, she can be quiet and calm and she can sit down with me and say, but Evie, this is what you've done. And look at that, and that's great. And she makes me feel good about myself. That is a talent that not a lot of people have. It is a talent that brings me joy very often. And so we've got to remember that these little, little, little talents that we all have are just as important as being able to run fast or swim or paint. These little talents that allow people a space to talk and to feel good about themselves are just as important as being able to make loads of money. These small talents that we have in our lives are meant to be used and not to be hidden. I'm going to be super honest with you. If I didn't have to do these videos because this was the only way we could do church, I'm not sure I would have had the guts to put them out. I'm not sure I would have expressed the side of myself that easily because I was so scared to do it. And that's what this lesson is about. It's about trying anyway. It's about putting it out there. It's about doing it. Even if we're super scared that we're going to get it wrong, we have to try. So what I want you to do, because we don't have a craft today, I want you to either write down or draw or paint or put on this amazing show, and I want you to tell me what your talents are. And they don't have to be talents like, I'm going to run a marathon or I paint well. It could be something as simple as, I can bake a cake and it makes people in my happy ho my home happy. Or it can be, um, I, I rinse out my cups well after I make a cup of tea. Or it can be, I'm a really good friend. And those are all amazing talents. 
and I want you to do them in the most creative, over-the-top way as possible. And then have your parents send it to me because I'm super excited to see what they are. So that's today's lesson. Uh, with that, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for our ability to have talents. Thank you for all of our abilities. We ask that you help us use them in the best way. We pray this in your name. Amen. With that, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you his peace. Amen.